Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today's video is about the calendar, time and holidays. While I respect and understand that Thanksgiving isn't observed in all countries, I'm in the US, so I'll give my take on it. These days, the rotation of the Earth seems to be going the other way. It's a strange, unprecedented time, so many typical things during Thanksgiving may not be happening. It's usually a gathering for many, a time to eat, relax, and be among loved ones. Perhaps we've taken a break this year, put things on pause. Let's talk about holidays in D&D, why you should pay very close attention to the time, the place, and the date in your games. I track these things with two sheets. They're reference sheets that are brought to my table each session. One is an overview of the year, where I have the names of my months and perhaps even days of the week. I'll draw a line across relating them to January, February, and so on. If you don't create your own month names, you don't have to worry about this step. Next on the sheet are the seasonal notes. I'll refer to the real world for this, as I'm not very knowledgeable enough about this sort of stuff to create my own thing. Say I've got three months, Verkember, Nasuary, and Fimbre, which is geek speak for December, January, and February. Where I live in the real world, these are the cold months, winter stuff. Most of the time, my fantasy worlds will follow suit, as that's what's familiar to my players. Once they learn that Nasuary is the equivalent of January, they expect certain things during that time of the year. It's all very familiar. Finally, on this one sheet, I'll put holiday info, celebrations, key events. Again, you can copy from real life. In our real world, the end of the year is the day where lots of things are bought. Christmas. I know there's a true meaning, but at least in the US, there's expectations when I'm out on the road almost any time in December. I know what the malls, stores, and even online sites are going to look like. Want some new D&D books? A new monitor? A video game? Look for Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals. It's all very familiar. The other reference sheet that I have is a bunch of copied and pasted lines that help me track a single day. I can fit something like 20 or more days on a single piece of printer paper. I'd describe what's on them, but instead, I'll just show you now. I use this for notes, what happened when. Most importantly, I track when the session started and when it ends. I'll track big events, such as the death of a PC at 9 p.m. on a certain day. Things like that matter if you use a yearly calendar system filled with holiday celebrations and such. I'll come back to this PC death thing and why it matters if they died on a specific day. Let's bring it home and zoom into the fantasy world. You do have factions, faith, and such in your world, right? Look to your evil faction. According to the evil religion's creation story, when did their god first step onto your world? To the ruin of all. Make it up. Just make up something. I'll do so right now. The evil god Karis came to the material plane and walked among mortals. He spawned the world's nightmares on this day and left the western half of the continent of Ilcrave in ruin. This day was the 11th day of Simber equivalent to the 11th day of March. While this event happened 3,000 years ago, track the 11th day of Simber. No matter how far the timeline has advanced, on the 11th day of Simber, all hell breaks loose. Imagine the place in your world where the god Karis was supposed to land. Whatever region that is grows dark on that day. Whatever kingdom surrounds that spot would spend weeks prior to the 11th of Simber preparing. Guards are on high alert. Walls are reinforced. Curfews are in effect. Your PCs walk into a city where the residents observe this day. It's certainly not a holiday or a celebration, but it's a key event in your world's timeline. You do have a timeline, right? All residents in the region your PCs are in know this day. They fear it. Windows are shuttered. Every interaction has an insight role involved, and most won't talk to your PCs. If your PCs are out of the loop and didn't even realize the importance of the 11th day of Simber, they might be offended. Blacksmiths won't sell them weapons. Taverns close at dusk. Hospitality is not offered here. Lean into rumors and superstition. Keep your swords about you, friends, for tomorrow is the day of Karis. Imagine what the monsters do on that day. 
every farmer within 100 miles reports the slaughter or theft of cattle as humanoid tribes get rowdy on the 11th day of Simber. On a more threatening level, the fiends and great evils of the world, liches, hags, ancient reds, and so on, all converge and move in towards the kingdom that surrounds the God Zone, that place where the evil god Karis arrived on the 11th of Simber. I'll leave it there. Notice how much gameplay there is, all from a single seed that began with. 3,000 years ago, on the 11th day of Simber, the god Karis arrived on the material plane to bring ruin and spawn hate. Back to that PC death thing. As I said, I'd get back to it. Create a day of remembrance, a day when the paladin Jakara led the forces of light against Mezok's undead armies. Light won. Darkness was extinguished, at least temporarily. The killing blow to Mezok's Death Knight General was on the first day of Agrist, signaling victory for the forces of good. This was ages ago. Think of how the first day, or the days leading up to the first day of Agrist, plays out in your world. No different than crowded streets and stores prior to Christmas. The first day of Agrist is a day of remembrance, a day of hope, a day of celebration. All the tap rooms, taverns, and inns in an entire region offer their best drinks for half price. Plays, carnivals, and circus tents are set up on this day, all with decorations and motifs that are similar to what you'd visualize during Dia de Muertos. This is a good day for some, as it's the day when the undead armies were defeated. Snake your way through the world to the other side of the continent. On this day, on the first day of Agrist, the dark and sinister folk don't think the same way. Superstition and rumors spread through each alley in every city. This day is the day of necromancers. The day for the forces of evil to play with the dead, in hopes of resurrecting this army and finishing what the dark force known as Mezok couldn't finish. If you have a dead PC, they can be resurrected, right? Brought back to life. If you happen to be on a certain side of the world, if that PC dies on the other side of the world, the rumors of necromancers toiling through the night in preparation for the first day of Agrist becomes a barrier. Churches don't welcome the fallen on the night before the first of Agrist. Priests won't cast raised dead on the actual day itself, as it's considered a bad omen. Notice the impact of this single day on your game. Don't die on the first of Agrist. Or perhaps it's okay, depending on what side of the world you're on. Who knows? All I know is that fun can be had and content can be created when you let the mind wander. Create your holidays, events, and celebrations. Track time. Track your calendar. Speaking of, it's that day where we all eat our full meal earlier than normal. At least, that's what the calendar says. It's time to eat, so I'll see you later.